Okay, this is a review on how to download and install uh, Fallout multiplayer. So first we're going to download Fallout Script Extender. You can either do it up by looking up uh, F4SE or Fallout Script Extender or just uh, in the description there will be a link. Uh, all, of the, all of the things you have to download for this are going to link in the description or you could look them up if you wanted to. There's no necessity for that. But, I mean, hey, you can choose what you want. Anyhow, um, yeah, download 7-zip, Fallout Script Extender, Mod Organizer 2. It doesn't matter that it says Skyrim. Uh, it works for both. And the uh, if you go to their Discord page, which is also linked in the comments, along with just the straight download link, you can go to Install Tutorial, scroll up. This will help you, by the way, if you're having any issues, look over it, go to the Discord, you can open tickets, get some help, those are helpful. Download the client in the server zip. I've already downloaded them, so I'm not going to do that. We will then go to files, so you can see me uh, actually install these things. Here we are. And we're going to uh, first make a new folder, because we have downloaded them and we have 7-zip. So we will make a new folder here. In that, we are going to drag in our mod organizer. But first, we're going to name it Fallout 4 Mod Organizer or Mod Organization. It doesn't matter really. This is whatever you want it to be. This is just for better looks. Uh, put the organizer in there. And then you're going to extract here with 7-zip. This is part of the reason we need 7-zip. This will take a minute and then extract everything into this folder. Uh, that's what you want. You can open this or you can first actually make a shortcut. This is just easier, this is for convenience. You can put it on your desktop. I already have it, uh, I'm gonna replace it. But yes, this is really just for convenience, not necessary at all. Go back to downloads. Um, I'm going to make a folder in my documents folder called mod organizer 2, or I just call it MO2. Uh, it has to be here and not in downloads because it will create conflicts if in downloads. I also put a mods folder there, that will help out later. We will put the organizer file in MO2. This is, again, it creates conflicts if it's stored in downloads, so put it in documents, because it will not work if it's not. Could also probably be on desktop. I haven't attempted it, I just follow these. Um, you can open the mod organizer here, and it'll ask you if you wanna run NXM files. Always hit yes. Uh, it's not completely necessary. Mine did ask me, you just didn't see it there because I had some other stuff to clear off at first. Um, we will go back to downloads here, and we are going to first get the script extender. So we're, we are going to not open it, but extract it with 7-zip. So we'll uh, extract here. And that will, I'm just going to replace mine because I already have them here. We're going to open that. And we're going to copy all the files except for the SRC and data. Just right click, copy, uh, open Fallout in Steam, and you can hit Browse Local Files. This is just a quick way to get to the folder. Uh, in this folder, uh, you can just paste them in. And that's mostly it for the script extender. Uh, then you can go back to your downloads folder, select the script extender and the F4MP client. These you will drag into your mods folder that I showed you earlier. I'm going to launch my uh, mod organizer here. And then we will quickly add in the two mods I just showed you. So first for the multiplayer client, all you have to do is hit open, uh, name it whatever you want. I'm naming it after the multiplayer client so I know what it is. And there you are. That's how to install the multiplayer mod. It's pretty simple. Uh, now you need the uh, the script extender. So we're going to open that here. You will have to name it uh, Fallout 4 script extender or just F4SE. And then I would recommend adding the version after it just to make sure you know what it is because it might need to be updated later on and you'll want to know that. Now you can right click and hit set as data directory on data. This will make the script extender work. Without this, it will not work. It is completely necessary. Please remember to do that. I'm gonna show you also how to add uh, the script extender. You just do that, hit open, and there you go. It's pretty easy, it's a tool. If you don't have it, it won't load correctly, so you have to add that in. I added it in here. 
Uh, and there you have it. Those mods are now installed. You can just hit run and it'll run. Uh, I'm now going to show you how to load up the server. So all you have to do is open it, drag that folder out into the downloads, or you can put it wherever you want, really. Uh, you can just open the server file, open the run, and then sometimes your computer will warn you. You can just hit run anyway. There you go. The server is up. It, that's pretty. It's a pretty simple thing to open. I'm also going to show you how to get your port here, but uh, I'm going to show you Fallout first. So you can connect using this command. Technically, there is a. Uh, you can use the tilde key to open your developer console, and then you can put in this command here. Um, technically, you should be able to use the function one key to join in, but for whatever reason, mine is not working. But you can use yes, the command here will work. All you have to do is step into that bubble, and then it will load you up. Gonna wait. All right, and you should be in the game. Uh, and then I will show you how to connect. This is just how to launch the server on your own. So I'm just going to quit out here. And then here we are. So the server is there. You can close that out if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Server config. So here it says localhost. This is what you want if you're hosting the server. If you're not, you can go here. Uh, I'm using Ethernet, but it doesn't matter. Same process for Wi-Fi. You're going to go down, hit uh, change adapter options. Then you're going to click on your thing that you're using. Click on status. Then you will click on details and then you will see your IPv4 address. That's what you need. Exit out of that. And then you can replace that with your IPv4 address if you are the client. If you're connecting to someone else, else's server, that is. If it's your own, you don't need that. I'm not going to save it because I am the host. That's basically how to do it. It's not too difficult. Uh, there's a server. Again, it's just a quick file. Um, yeah, this is a pretty easy way to show you guys how to download this. It's not it's not really too difficult. So good luck with it. It's a fun mod and have fun.